Hey girls and guys, it's Presley, and today in this video, I'm going to be telling you guys a story on me getting stung by a wasp. So this happened several years ago in the summertime. It was really hot outside. It was the usual. I was at home, and my mom just told me to take the dog outside so he can do his business. And that's what I exactly did. So I went outside my backyard porch, stood there and wait for my dog to do his business as usual until out of nowhere, a wasp from right behind me comes swooping down and stuck onto one of my thumbs. I couldn't remember which thumb it was. Maybe it was my left. I'm not sure. It was a while ago. So it stuck onto one of my thumbs and wouldn't let go. And the pain was unbearable. It felt like a stinging burning sensation on my thumb and it hurt so, so much. It was, I, my pain tolerance is pretty bad. I'm not really good with pain. I mean, if it's like, if, if I'm like at home and I'm bumping into something, sure, it, it'll, it does hurt a little bit, but it's not that bad. Not as bad as getting stung by a freaking wasp. And I was in, in the, in that moment, I was screaming bloody murder and my mom came rushing to my aid and she was like, what's wrong? And I told her I got stung by something. So, um, she told me to go inside and, um, she went to take care of this business by herself. Make sure that wasp is going to like freaking die and she's going to kill it. She had bug killer in one hand. And a broom in the other hand. And as soon as she stepped outside, opened the backyard door, that wasp was about to sting her too. And to be fair, I wasn't doing anything to that wasp. I didn't even know it was there. I was just doing my usual business. And then so my mom just whacked it with the broom and then sprayed it with some bug killer. And it's it's dead. No, uh, no insect can ever come back from that getting hit with a broom and being uh, sprayed with bug killer and stuff like that. But anyway, in the in the meantime, I was still still screaming my, in pain. I was in pain. My the burning sensation was unbelievably awful. And my mom told me to um, put get some ice and put it in a plastic bag while she was grabbing some baking soda. And then I went to the kitchen sink. She poured baking soda on my thumb to reduce the swelling. And uh, also put the bag of ice on there to reduce the swelling. Make sure the pain can go away in the next few hours and stuff like that. And again, the pain was was awful. It was, it was like a 9 out of 10, 10 out of 10 pain level in my, in my experience. Everybody has different pain tolerances, but for me, it was pretty bad. It was awful. Kind of paranoid me just a little bit for me to, like, go outside. Not all the time. I am I can go outside pretty fine. It's just whenever I see something fly around or I hear something buzzing in my ear, my fight-or-flight instincts start to kick in and I blindly swing my arms around, make sure the insect doesn't get around me, but... I'm sure it'll agitate the insect more if I just swing at it. But still, it kind of makes me nervous when I see something fly around. And I see, like, when I see, like, a bug outside, I'm like, go back in the house. Go back in the house. I am, no, 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 I'm not dealing with that. I am not dealing with that bull. I don't want to get stung again. I don't want to experience the pain. It's just, no, just no. And if you guys don't believe me, I want to show you something. Give me a second. So as you guys can see, I'm standing right in my backyard right now. And um, I was standing right here. And out of nowhere, that's where that wasp came from. That little cracked up corner. came. It came flying down, stuck onto one of my thumbs. And it wouldn't let go. Even if I tried shaking really hard, it, w it still wouldn't let go. But eventually, it did let go. So, I just wanted to show you guys where it happened and stuff like that. So, that's pretty much what I wanted to show you guys. So, I should probably go back inside right now. So, anyway, that's what I wanted to show you guys on when, uh, where it happened and stuff like that. And um, after a few days, um, my thumb for all, for all of a sudden started to get... Um, really puffy and red and started to itch really bad and I couldn't stop scratching 
because how itchy and annoying and really puffy it really was it was so I just couldn't stop scratching the the little it was super itchy it's almost like a mosquito bite except if it um if it's not on one little spot where a mosquito bites you it's everywhere it itched everywhere on my thumb and it was just annoying to deal with but then after a few more days the itching and swelling and pain eventually went away and as you can see my thumb is all good as new and I still couldn't remember what thumb it was I'm pretty sure it was my left or my right I, I it was a while ago and I posted a picture on Instagram a while ago too so I'll link in the description my Instagram if you still don't believe me because I'm making these videos to at least tell you the truth and showing you all of my experiences and crazy stories and stuff like that because I thought it would be fun you know for shits and giggles because you know we could at least get a nice hard laugh out of it every once in a while me telling you these crazy real life stories and things like that so anyway hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know in the comments below if you experienced any insect sting that really messed you up and stuff like that because for me it kind of messed me up a little bit with that wasp <laughs> sometimes i still can't stop thinking about it and looking at that instagram post anyway hope you guys enjoyed this video like comment share subscribe all that jazz and i'll see you guys in the next video Peace.